Hey, we're live. This is New York. I know it looks just like a hotel room, but it is, in fact, New York. Yeah, you can see right through those sheer curtains. That's New York back there. That's how you know it's mm -hmm. New York, because of the sheer curtains mm -hmm. of the situation. Uh, well, you ready to do this? Yeah, it's sure. It's kind of fun. I usually don't have anyone else around when I do this. Oh, I'll be just maybe I'll Sawyer. even record the... Uh... Record the show? Yeah, I don't know. Nah. Man, I haven't seen that in a long time. Audio hijack, that is. Not the, the uh, milkshake there. My milkshake? No. No, it no, doesn't. It, doesn't. <laughs> it turns away people at the yard. It does? Mm -hmm. Okay, what just happened to the video? Uh, just different space. I know, but I can't get the space back now. We're, we'll, we'll click Safari. There we go. Hey, who's backing up? I'm gone. Make it after all. Should have done this before we started, huh? Nah. Nah. Should have done this on the fly. All the best cowboys do it on the fly. They do it on the... I don't even know where cowboys are. Never mind. Ranch? <laughs> Brain was like, nope. I don't know where cowboys are. Hey, uh, Jenny, do you remember where the Google Talk plugin is? Um, yeah, I think I do. And also, I am recording, if you want. Um, yeah, I, just, I should find it, though. Yeah. Let me look. Hold on. Should not go in the chat room. Very funny. Record. Shouldn't it be killing cords? Hey! Hey! In there all week. I will be here all the week. Tip your waitresses. And waiters, too. And there's no reason to be sexist Don't tip them it. over. There's a it was not an application that. support. We application support. Uh, I'm in there under Chrome, right? No? Google? No. Google. Yeah, I think that's Google it. Google Talk plug-in. Yeah. Why are you in the chat room? It's got the right icon. I'm gonna land me a date tonight in this in this chat room. I kind of want to read that book you and non you revisited. What does that mean? It's holding up the my secret. Yes, Tom does not carry his own tripod. Test, Hello. Test, test, test. Nope, that didn't do it. Text edit? That's not what I that's not really not what I wanted. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a nightmare. This is what you your nightmares are about? Yes. You usually have like deaths happening and like the buildings exploding. You're like, no, I can't me, find a plug in. I can't find a plug in. That's yeah, that's right. You're right. That, is that, that not working? No. Oh, is that I not working? I can't find it. That wasn't the one that I that I sent. Hmm. Where'd you send it? No, I mean not sent, but directed oh. you to. Yeah, I can't find that one. For some reason. Oh, Let's see if this works. No, that doesn't work. Is Lane apologizing that we're stuck in the same space? Or oh, wait a minute. I know what'll work. Sounds like the beginning of a musical to me. <laughs> I know what'll work. What'll work? What'll work? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been stuck all day. Well, okay. How's that? That works. Yay. Ready? All right. Thanks, Jenny. Ready. Ready? Okay. This was good TV. I'm Bye. glad you enjoyed it. And now it's time for an actual podcast. It only takes a little to help a lot. To show your support for the new show. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen that way. Five. It only takes a little to help a lot. To show your support for Daily Tech News Show, go to patreon.com slash acedetect and pledge just $1 per month. That's patreon.com slash acedtect.
This is the Daily Tech News for Monday, October 13th, 2014. I'm Tom Merritt. Joining me today, live in New York City, Mr. Ayaz Akhtar, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com. That is me. That is my title. If I had business cards, that's what I would say. So uh, if I see you on the street, I don't say Mr. Ayaz Akhtar. I say Senior Associate Editor. You go, Senor. Senor. You're missing a a tilde on the end. I'll fix that now. Hey, man, it's good to see you. It's been too long since we had you on the show. You've been crazy busy. Yeah, I kind of moved across the country, and then I'm like, hey, this email, I should get back to it like a month later. It was in a box, wasn't it? (laughs) That was the thing. It was was moved from the inbox into the outbox. Right. In In through the outbox. So I had to come all the way to New York City. Just to like grab Ayaz and make him join the show and do some headlines. Hey, you know about the snapping, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, Snapped Saved is a third party service that apparently got attacked, and some Snapchat images were stolen. Ars Technica reports that a spokesperson for Snap Saved says the database storing user info about the images was not breached. So no identities can be attached to the images. They say 500 megabytes of images were accessed. A freelance security researcher contacted ours and offered to sell 12.9 gigabytes of images, as well as 320 usernames, though the two aren't correlated. They don't know what images go with what usernames, except in a few instances where the user ID is apparently in the image file name. Uh, The usernames have been posted on Pastebin. Recode reports that Apple will launch the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus in 36 more countries, including China and India, by the end of this month. Apple is on track to have their latest smartphones available in 115 countries by the end of the year, which the company says is its fastest global rollout ever. All eyes are on... (laughs) Magical. Amazing. We think you're going to love it. Boom. Uh, All eyes on China with that. And uh, it looks like the pre-orders are are rolling in Mm -hmm. pretty well there. On Friday, Standard & Poor's downgraded Finland's sovereign debt from AAA to AA+. Hang with me. You'll understand why I'm telling you this in a second. Uh, Most analysts say sanctions against Russia and aging population are one of the problems that Finland is having. But there are also two others. Uh, A decline in the paper industry and the cell phone industry. Uh, The Verge reports Finland Prime Minister Alexander Stubb told CNBC on Monday... One could say that the iPhone killed Nokia and the iPad killed the Finnish paper industry, but we'll make a comeback. Hear that, Tim Cook? They're finished because, no, not Finnish. Well, they are Finnish, but never mind. Quite the guilt trip there. Nine to five Mac passes along the Financial Times report that court findings show that bankrupted Sapphire screen manufacturer GT Advanced risked a $50 million penalty if they leaked information about Apple product components. GT Advance argues Apple's supplier agreement was oppressive and burdensome and would like to publish more information to support their claim that Apple owes them compensation over the bankruptcy. You hear that, Tim Cook? They're finished. No, they're in Arizona. I mean, just, just never mind. Sorry. Yeah. No, Sorry. It's, it's, it's hard they're alerting Tim Cook mm-hmm. to these things. The BBC reports Samsung claims it has found a way to make Wi-Fi data travel at 4.6 gigabits per second and operates in the 60 gigahertz band. Samsung researchers limited interference, improved the antenna, and allowed signals to travel farther without getting lost. Samsung said it plans to include the technology in TVs, medical devices, phones, and smart home appliances. I would like it in my laptop, too. You want 4.6 gigabits to your washing machine. Oh, that's what I want. Uh, According to ZDNet, French telco Iliad was not going to buy T-Mobile after all. Deutsche Telekom, the German owner of the fourth largest U.S. cellular network, rejected their offer, according to a statement from Iliad. Iliad was attempting to purchase 67% of the U.S. mobile company from Deutsche Telekom which is still looking to sell off its U.S. mobile presence. Iliad said some T-Mobile U.S. board members, quote, refused to comply with Iliad's latest offer. You must comply. Of course. Like, yeah, we weren't going to buy that. We were just thinking about it. TechCrunch has an update on Facebook's Internet.org initiative, which is working to bring free mobile Internet to 4.4 billion offline people. One part of the plan involves working with mobile carriers to improve their networks. In a recent trial in Indonesia, the fourth biggest country for Facebook usage, Internet.org says Facebook and Ericsson were able to help speed up Indonesian mobile network XL Axiata by 70%. Mark Zuckerberg was in Jakarta today meeting with President-elect Joko Widodo. Man, that is amazing. Can you imagine if they just did that to every network? Like, I know... Let's make it faster? It's, it's more important in a place like Indonesia or maybe in Zambia where they've, they've, mm-hmm. Facebook's been doing a lot of 70%. work. 70%. But uh, just without upgrading the infrastructure. 
All this talk about congestion. Oh, we need to have usage-based billing because of congestion. Facebook will prove it wrong. Upgraded by 70%. Time now for some news from you. These are things uh, we find on our subreddit, dailytechnewsshow.reddit.com. If you haven't jumped in there, please do. That is a place where folks in the audience go in and submit links. They vote them up, they vote them down, and they let us know what stuff they're interested in. For instance, Captain Kipper is very active in there. Uh, he would like you to know that Netflix is now charging a premium to access 4K streaming. The Platinum streaming plan requires 25 megabits per second download speed and costs $12 a month. That's compared to the company's HD streaming plan, which is $9 a month. Now, the premium plan also gives you the right to have four separate users stream video at once on one account. That's compared to the two you get on the HD subscription. Current 4K streamers, however, if you have ever streamed something in 4K on Netflix, you'll be grandfathered into whatever your current plan is. Fantastic. All I need is a 4K TV, a 4K streaming plan, and a good broadband connection. Thank you, The Verge. No problem. Mac Bytes pointed out The Verge article that Google's testing out a new service that connects people searching for health condition information with doctors over video chat. Uh, a Reddit user posted a screenshot of the service online, and Google confirmed the task to Engadget. Google has a service called Helpouts, a marketplace where experts can charge to give lessons and advice over video chat. The screenshot seemed to indicate charging could be a part of this new health service. Uh, yeah, so you go to the doctor online in a hangout. You say, look at this rash. The doctor's like, ooh, yeah. That'll be twenty dollars for me to. I tell get to you see what the waiting, is. the waiting room. We just have this little yeah. buffering. And waiting. then he's like, "That's nothing. Don't worry about it. Put some salve on it." Uh, Metal Freak, also very active in the subreddit, pointed out the slash dot posting about devs for Chrome OS dropping support for EXT two three four file system on external drives and SD cards due to low usage. Since this is the main file system for Linux, that community is not pleased, to say the least. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Okay. And that, my friends is a look at the headlines. Hey, uh, so we were talking about what to talk about today. It is a holiday for some institutions here in the United States, uh, not all, but the news is a little bit low on big stuff. We've got some headlines there for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and Aya said, well, why don't we talk about this story from Chris Plant over at The Verge? He made an argument today that every living room should have a PC hooked up to the TV, not a Chromecast, not a Roku, a PC, he says, with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Everybody knows how to use it. You just sit down and you start streaming whatever. Here's some other advantages. He's like, well, you could play video games with most of these. Uh, you could record TV because there's a hard drive there, so you just need an app. Unlimited apps uh, through the browser, since almost every service like Hulu, Netflix, etc., has a browser presence, and usually the browser is the first to get updated. Downside of the console, well, typing uh, is a pain. If you've ever used a Roku or an Apple TV, the typing sucks. So if you had a keyboard, that's going to be better. Uh, screen mirroring is laggy sometimes, both on the Chromecast and on, and on Apple TV. It's occasionally unreliable. It'll drop out. So if you have a computer cooked directly, that's less. it's not going to have lag and it's not going to drop out. And uh, he pointed out voice control could potentially eliminate some of these objections, but there isn't. A reliable version of that. He says Connect is a mess right now. I obviously have played with a lot of these things through uh, doing research for Cord Killers. I, as I know, you're just, you've been playing with a lot of these things for many reasons. Just because I'm a nerd. Years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think of Chris Plant saying, you know what? Everybody should have a computer hooked up to their TV. It's the best thing we got going. I've been hearing other people saying this for years. I think it's way easier now because it used to be that you'd have to get some kind of VGA to. Well, if your TV had a VGA adapter, that'd, that'd be nice. Or you'd have to have some kind of DVI to this. But a lot of these video cards now have HDMI out. So it's way easier than it's ever been. And there's so many freaking front ends. We're talking about Plex, or you're talking about Media Center, or you're talking about, you could buy that. But there's so many different, XBMC, I think they renamed it. I forgot what they called it. But there's all of these front ends that eliminate some of the problems we're talking about, this 10-foot interface thing. But I think it's still a hard... Cody. K-O-D-I is Cody? the new XBMC. I got to remember that. I remember Kathy Lee and Cody because I'm old. That's what I'll remember. But the thing is, I, I have a PC hooked up to my TV, and I most, most times I end up using one of these set-top boxes. And I was just wondering about that today. Why, after years of having a PC attached, why do I still stick to a set-top box? It's because it's, it's relatively more stable. You know, like an Apple TV sometimes seems to be more stable than a, a uh, Flash plug-in on my old PC that will get just, it'll get destroyed. It'll, it doesn't have enough RAM for that. That's just an older machine. So in the long run, I'll have a better machine. But it's, it's, it could be time now, but the cost, I think, is still too high. Yeah, and what, the cost for one that has, one thing Chris Plant says is you get 
computers with an HDMI output. Okay, fine. Or an input, right? Uh, you basically want to connect the HDMI from the computer to the TV so that the signal goes from the computer to the TV, so it'd be an output. Uh, not all computers that people have sitting around are going to have that. Right. The older ones that they might have spare to put in the, in the living room aren't, so they're going to have to buy something, and you're going to have to spend a little money to get one with an HDMI cable. That said, I think you, one of my other objections was, uh, and, and not an HDMI cable, but get, get one with an HDMI output. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that you pointed out, because I was like with well, the interface too, if I'm using Windows or OS X, uh, I, I can get the Media Center interface. Some people love it, some people don't, but Plex is a very good example of that. Kodi is a very good example of that. So, okay, that starts to take care of that problem. Uh, mouse and keyboard need a surface. I use a Logitech K400 with a laptop hooked up to my computer. It works great, but I have to have it on the coffee table. Like if I if if I want to just lean back and flip around, I can't do that, right? I love that it's you not have as easy. You have the same keyboard I do, which yeah. is which is really odd. It's actually a really good keyboard for this. It's got a trackpad on the right side, so you can still mouse around with it. It's the keyboard that Logitech developed for the Logitech Review, which ran oh, Google TV. Okay. And when the when that went like sideways, they're like, that's not selling. They broke out the keyboard and started selling it independently. The workaround I had to do is get some cheap IR adapter. It was like China Vision something or other, and the Harmony can find it, so I can use a regular remote with it. Yeah. So it makes it feel much more... And that's uh, good with Media Center or Plex or something like exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. and getting those hot buttons to actually open these applications like Plex or like Media Center, because I think I had the green button, and just like the old days. But Media Center has failed for years when it comes to getting into the living room. Remember the old gateway HTPCs? They were like gigantic and they were built like components. Yeah. So they would kind of sneak their way into the living room, but they just didn't make it. Sony had some really expensive ones like oh, that. Oh, the hat box one? Yeah, yeah. They've where they were, they were meant to slide under the television. Yeah. I think the thing about computers in general is that if you get them in the living room, you have to hide them. Like the PS3 was a, and the Xbox. The original Xbox was flat out a PC. Right, we got the Tiva, which ran Linux, which everyone's like, shh, don't tell anybody it's Linux, because it's still really stable, even though people don't use Tivos anymore. Mm -hmm. But these kinds of things have to be hidden, because otherwise you're like, why do I have a window here? I don't think the general public's ready for it. I, I think Chris Plant is on to something, because it is easier now, especially because of HDMI, mm -hmm. than it was before. You know, back in those days of the Gateway Home Theater PC, even that was just too complicated for most Absolutely. people, right? Like, I had one of those. Uh, I think it's still too much DIY, though, saying like, well, so you just need to download Plex already. You're going to lose you a bunch everybody. of people. I'm not saying that that's right, that they should like, it's not really that hard. But I know people. I was just over at a friend's house and he was asking me, he's like, can I just hook a computer up to my TV? And I was like, well, yeah, you can. Here's what you need to do. And he's like, uh... Mm, that sounds complicated. And like, this is not a guy who wants to mess around with computers. He just wants the easiest thing. And I was like, well, then you should just get a Roku or an Apple TV. He's like, yeah, but I don't want to have to use the remote to type in everything. Well, could you imagine if you got a Roku box and like the first thing you had to do was download the OS or the front end? I mean, that happened with like what the Wii U. You had to have this giant firmware yeah, right. upgrade. You don't, that's the last thing you want to do. So when something like Plex or even Microsoft distancing themselves from Media Center by making it an optional yeah. thing of Windows 8, uh, that kind of, I think Apple killed front row. Like, so this, this idea of PCs going to televisions, obviously they want to keep you in their own set-top boxes, the Xbox One or the Apple TV or whatever it's going to be. But I think now it could be easier if you're willing, if you, if you grew up with TV on your laptop and that's the way you're used to it, just hooking it up, it's way easier now. There's all these wireless adapters. And yes, Chromecast is a little laggy, but it's pretty serviceable. It's, it's been getting better too with every firmware upgrade. I, I recommended the Chromecast because I was like, it's 35 bucks. Mm -hmm. Then you can have your laptop over on the couch or you can use your phone. Which, whatever one you want, and you just press the button. I was like, I think that's your best compromise device. Well, there's a Microsoft uh, wireless display adapter. It's Miracast. So you can actually send your desktop right to your right, screen. Right, exactly. It makes a big difference. And it's actually quite good from what I've seen about it. So it, it's, I think there's, there's going to be TVs with that stuff built in. And once people are used to the idea of just sending their computer over, they might go, why don't I just put a computer there? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not arguing against Chris Plant. I think he's right that that is the best Mm -hmm. thing going right now is a computer that it you know and and even if you don't have plex or front row uh you can just make the fonts bigger and stuff and it's not too bad but it's not the easy solution for people it's not a turnkey yeah yet, but it's I, it's, it's the best if you're into it though the idea of like is the app out yet do they have this do they support it it's like you don't think about that it's like if it right. doesn't support you it just go plug in. it's the web it's like you you'll find it, it. Yeah. where is it it's in the downloads folder just go get it right there 
All right, a uh, quick look at the calendar today, October 13th. Uh, Amazon is killing off its free P2P money transfer service, WebPay. Yes, they had a money transfer <laughs> service called WebPay, but you found out too late because it's dead now. Uh, Sony's PlayStation TV coming to the U.S. tomorrow, October 14th, also known as the Vita in a box. Uh, and earnings reports for Intel tomorrow, October 14th. Our pick of the day, I'm going to use one uh, today, but please send us your picks, feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. Uh, my pick is based on uh, several people asking a question after I took a picture of my setup here in the temporary location I have in New York. They all, a couple of people are like, what's that soundboard app on your iPad there? It's the soundboard the iPad soundboard from Ambrosia Software, uh, and it works really well. It allows me to add and remove MP3s through iTunes. That's the negative, kind of a pain that you have to use iTunes playlists. But you can do iTunes Wi-Fi sync, uh, so it makes it a little better. I would rather it have like a Dropbox interface. But once you get the files on there, you can do all kinds of things like move them around, make multiple soundboards, save them to the cloud. You can actually buy their software for the laptop and then create sandboards and upload them. That's another way to make it easier. And you can color code things. I make all of my uh, phone calls that I play on the show orange, and then they're orange in my dock, etc. They said olive. So I'm like, you made an olive call? Yeah, for I mean, a reason. Olive, no, I make, the, the, uh, the... I make the frog pants thing. So. All olives. So yeah, yeah, I can just do this that. I can do that. You can stop. You can play. You can adjust the volume. Uh, so check it out. Ambrosia SW. Dot com and send your picks to us. Like I said, feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. You can find my picks at dailytechnewsshow.com slash picks. Speaking of the soundboard, Stuart called uh, with some thoughts about why we might see an uptick in PC sales. You saw that report last week? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly. So uh, here's, here's Stuart's theory on that. It's, it, it's got, he, he's got a lot to say, but he comes to an interesting point at the end. Good morning, Tom. It's Stuart in Alberta, Canada. Well, that's Alberta, Canada. I have a theory as to do with uh, why PC sales are down. I mean, it's not even really a theory. It's anecdotal explanation. My sisters, I have four of them, um, and all of them have been using D600 Dell laptops since... Oh, at least five years. Minecraft, and unfortunately, those machines just do not run Minecraft. And even then, old used laptops that companies were throwing away have made their way to the home because you just need a certain amount of specs. My personal desktop PC. All right, we're going to start Stuart's call over again. Here we go. Good morning, Tom. It's Stuart in Alberta, Canada. Well, that is Alberta, Canada. I have a theory as to do with uh, why PC. They were being thrown out by a company and set up for them. Now, they only recently have needed something better. Uh, because two of them have discovered Minecraft, and unfortunately, those machines just do not run Minecraft. And even then, old used laptops that companies were throwing away have made their way to the home because you just need a certain amount of specs. My personal desktop PC, I can't remember the last time I upgraded it. It was probably four or five years ago. All right, third time's a charm. <laughs> Good morning, Tom. It's Stuart in Alberta, Canada. Well, that is Alberta, Canada. I have a theory as to do with uh, why PC sales are down. I mean, it's not even really a theory. It's anecdotal explanation. My sisters, I have four of them, um, and all of them have been using D600 Dell laptops since oh, at least five years. And that was after they were uh, basically reformatted when they were being thrown out by a company and set up for them. Now, they only recently have needed something better, 
uh, because two of them have discovered Minecraft, and unfortunately, those machines just do not run Minecraft. And even then, old used laptops that companies were throwing away have made their way to the home because you just need a certain amount of specs. My personal desktop PC, I can't remember the last time I upgraded it. It was probably four or five years ago. It still hums along just fine. Aside from the occasional you know, hard drive replacement or increasing of capacity with NAS drives, that decreases even more, there really is no need to buy a new PC if you bought one in the past eight to ten years. You just keep upgrading them. And even then, it's bits and pieces at a time, and if you buy good enough to begin with, it's usually good for a while. Just my two cents. Thanks. All right. So uh, what do you think of that? I mean, I I do think that most people have taken this into account, that you're going to have people waiting long times to upgrade, mm-hmm. uh, and that's going to balance itself out over time. But maybe maybe this is the, the time when you have a swelling amount of them? Well, yeah. I mean, let's see. We've had major operating system upgrades. So Windows 8 came out, 8.1. 10 is supposed to be coming out soon. There might be more of an impetus to go, hey, look, I'm going to get a new PC now. Wouldn't you wait till Windows 10 came out, That's though? That's what you would think, yeah. right? But like the idea, I think when people just hear the news, they're like, okay, this thing will probably be the good one, and it'll be all right. 8.1 is such an oddball kind of, what would you call it, compromise, that it probably can pull people in because they're like, wait, that looks different. I think that might be part of it. It just looks so different at this point. Yeah. You might realize that, wait, why does my computer look really old or why does it act really old? Because they're not used to that kind of just huge shift because, what, 95 to XP, it kind of looked the same. And then we've gone to Vista with a little glass and everything, but it's very visually similar. It might be that and or the... People have just been waiting a long time. I know I'm using my media center PCs from like 2006. But people have all my my argument is that people have always been waiting for a long time, mm-hmm. right? So there were people waiting for a long time last year and the year before that. Why would there be a dip of people waiting for a long time putting it off? I I think what what Stuart might be onto is that we have computers that can last longer now mm-hmm. than we used to, uh, and so there was a dip because processor speed stopped mattering. You're like, well, even if I have a 2.7 gigahertz processor, I don't need to get, you know, get, trash that one and get a 3. Point gigahertz processor because the machine still runs the latest operating systems and the latest software. And maybe now there was a wave of like, there was a drop in PC sales because people are like, I don't need a new one. This one runs with it just fine. That's where I think he's got an interesting point. I wonder if part of it's basically because there are so many more geeks, I guess. Everyone's got phones, right? Everyone's got, well, a lot of people have tablets. And like, well, I could do more if I had something else. Like, something if I could have like two apps at once and if I wanted to be able to do different things. I'm like, yeah, wait yeah. a second. It might actually influence more regular people who are used to just going with phones and like old PCs and go, wait a minute, I can get, I can use this thing I'm pointing at my laptop. Yeah. I can get a desktop or something and do more. And Lau Roman points out XP went out of support this year. And that's what most, we, we, when we talked about this last week, that's what this color is responding to. We said, it's probably enterprise. Mm-hmm. It's probably enterprise saying, oop, XP went out of support. We were putting this off for, for a while, but we can't put it off any longer. We've got to upgrade now because we won't get any support from Microsoft. I'm just thinking, I've been in offices where there's unsupported, really old software. Yeah. So I, I mean, governments probably will move faster, hopefully. Yeah, and, and some enterprises take it more seriously than others. <laughs> some do. I would think, hopefully. Uh, we got an email from Russell Manthe. Uh On Friday's show, he says, you were discussing the copying of Apple's design by Chinese manufacturers in comparison to the influence of 1960s brawn design on the development of their products. We work in design, and there is a definite distinction between influence and straight up copying of something. It would seem that the Chinese manufacturer is a phone manufacturer making a direct copy of the Apple product to take advantage of our Apple's market position. Most design has roots and inspiration in things that have come before. Braun itself was Bauhaus influenced and Apple by Braun. This is the normal evolution in design. Just my two cents. Well, Ru- Russell, that's a really good point. And I think that's what I was trying to figure out is where is the line? Because the one thing Johnny I've said was I'm not talking about Xiaomi in particular here. So that uh, I didn't know whether that meant I'm not talking about Xiaomi. They are merely influenced mm-hmm. by, uh, by us in the way that Braun influenced me, or whether he's saying I'm not talking about them in particular because I don't want to get in trouble, but I mean them. Because there are definitely phones out there that are direct knockoffs. Like they're trying to look like, the, uh, like it's an iPhone, to trick people to think that they're buying an iPhone. Xiaomi isn't trying to do that. Uh, neither was Android. They're just taking similar design elements and putting them in their own way. Now, 
Apple has argued in court that it's too similar, and that's what where we were talking about the line. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about phone design at this point or tablet design, it's it's a black slab or a it, the thing. If you really want to stand out, what throw some color in there? I've I said this up like a million times on that old show we used to do. This the Samsung TV thing, the like, touch of color. Because if you have a black rectangle, what are you going to do with it to make it different? They started curving it, but they have like they used to have like this red hue in there. Like you could do something. I think Sharp actually did a really cool design where they had basically all of the guts like on the bottom, kind of like an iMac like chin, mm-hmm. and they had like no bezel on the sides and the top to give this different, unique style. So there's still a way to have unique design if you want to. But for the most part, the phone, there's a lot of utilitarian points, right? You have to have an earpiece and you have to have a spot for where you're going to talk. And it just makes sense to not have a huge bezel on the side. So are you going to square off the corners? Or have one, like the nook that used to have that little uh, carabiner spot? Yeah, like, right. You can always have something that's different. But I mean, influence is going to, I mean, if you, if you don't copy the leader sometimes, you nobody's going to buy your stuff. Yeah. Well, and, and, and Apple can rightly say we did something different when we came out with the iPhone, Mm -hmm. but the trio was also different when it came out. Nobody had seen the trio before. It was a handspring Mm -hmm. product and and they, they disrupted Palm with it. And then Palm ended up buying them because they were friends. They were (laughs) old Palm employees that started handspring. Uh, So, you know, I mean, disruptions definitely happen, but that doesn't mean that every product that comes out that doesn't disrupt is therefore, a ripoff. Right. A ripoff to me is like, no, they're actually making something that could be confused for the other thing. And I'm not sure that Xiaomi falls under that. I don't, Apple does not own the rounded rectangle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say that. And I'm sure everyone who's an Apple fan is like, yeah, they do. It's like, no, they don't. Sorry. Rounded rectangles. <laughs> I don't know. All. The court may disagree with you too. I'm not sure. I'm going to check the actual angle of this and see. Or the radius, excuse me. Uh, that is it for this episode of Daily Tech News Show. Thank you all for uh, for hanging out. Uh, and uh, it was kind of, it was fun to be in the same room. Yeah, it's Be in New York City. It's crazy. Twitter.com slash IAS. If you want to follow IAS, it's I Y A Z. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're on the 404 now? Yeah, that's a that's weird awesome. gig. That's awesome. Yeah, um, if you guys are like, hey, I want to hear you talking more. Well, you can do that. Uh, I'm on the 404. Uh, and it, I do it with Jeff Bacalar and Ariel Nunez. It's a great, fun show. It's pretty light. So we're really talking about dumb stuff. And it's, it, it's, it's interesting to be the optimistic one of the people there. <laughs> I know that's weird to say, but I'm the optimistic one. In so you do, is it CNET.com slash the 404? 404? I th- think that works. I don't know. Does that get you there? Go to CNET.com. You can find the 404. I'm sure there. there's a link on the front door somewhere Yeah, on the 404. You probably have influence on that. Yeah, somewhere. it is CNET.com slash the 404. The 404. Right there. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Ayas. You're welcome. Good stuff, man. Uh, thank you to our 4,399 patrons. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to our next goal, which will allow us to make Justin Robert Young a regular contributor. Uh, so thank you to everybody who is uh, either upping their their support or just maintaining their support or telling others who can afford it more than you can to up their support dailytechnewsshow.com slash donate to find out all about that don't forget you can have a voice in what stories we cover at our subreddit dailytechnewsshow.reddit.com you can email us feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com give us a call leave us a voicemail 512-59-DAILY that's 512-593-2459 and listen to the show live at mobile.alphageekradio.com our website is dailytechnewsshow.com we'll be back tomorrow with Dan Patterson, tech journalist. He's been on the show a bunch. And Jill Duffy, writer and software analyst at PCMag.com. They're both New Yorkers, too. TVZ gun. I wasn't calling New York crazy. I was just saying it's crazy to be here. That's all. I get the strangest looks in that building right now, by the way. Because people who remember me from PC Mag, they're like, and I'm like, nice. and I'm like yes, you do. They're like, and they're also like, where have you been for three years? It's like, oh, I was in California. I was busy. That's I moved, funny. and now I'm on the I'm on the tenth floor instead of the eleventh. So it's just I ran into uh, like Dan Costa, and he was just like, he just stopped. He was like. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what happened with the uh, with the cable. It just I just needed to tw- twiddle the cable for some reason. I had tested all that stuff out early and it worked fine. So, just one of those things. Twiddle the cable is the title for the Horde Killers episode coming up. 
I saw That's Andrew true. Zarian in there offering uh, his services. I do def definitely appreciate that. Um, I want to try to make this work, though, because if we can make this, if I can make this work, I can make anything. <laughs> no. uh, if <laughs> I can make can this work, work on that Frankenstein no, then, then we would, the, the more we do this and make this work, the more flexibility we'll have. If we ever hit that level mm -hmm. where we can take the show on the road, this is going to help us prepare for that quite a bit. You're going to take the table? No, this table <laughs> is part of this uh, <laughs> this place here. Hey, Jenny. Hi. I'm just being quiet because of the reverb. Yes, this is my home office. It looks very different. You're right, You're right Big Jim. Okay. Um, is the is the does is do people not want to hear? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm finding the edit points here mm -hmm. too. Um, I, Jenny, I think you can talk now. Is the reverb horrible? No, now it's gone. All right. He's so pleasant too. I know. I know Poor what... Stuart. Oh, I hate that guy. Should not have him on the show. Band of two. Well, I'm just going to be editing, so. Y'all so ask me anything. Talk amongst Sound yourselves. Familiar? Go for it. <laughs> ask me whatever. Is Jenny 23 in New York City? I don't know. Are you, Jenny? Not no. That's the only question you asked. Okay. Yes, I do talk out loud. It happens. Favorite type of pie? Apple. Thanks, Derek. Is Derek lobbing questions into the chat room from behind yeah. us? Yeah. He's literally three feet away. Well, more like six. The delay sucks. Sorry, Big Jim. The delay? I don't know. He's saying the delay sucks. Mm. Delay does suck. I hate being delayed. Chris, I asked, have you been to showbot.replex.org? You could read out the possible titles. Do we have a title? We need well, a title. Showbot. Here, I'll put it in the chat. Seb Gons, I use Defiant. What's this? Check it out. Mother of Pearl. Well, that's fancy. What I, what I usually do when people can hear me, but apparently they can't right now, is I read them out and tell people to vote. So if you want to read them out and tell people sure. to vote. So guys, we've got a lot of titles at Showbot. I didn't know this thing was here. Uh, the leading title right now is Live from New York is DTNS. Doctor by Todd Whitehead. What the Plex? Tag Team Reunion number one. Eh, too complicated is another one. Third Time's a Charm. The Daily Tech Beard Show. That old show we used to do. Snap Saved. Oh, Snap. That one was pretty clever. Two Snaps Hacked. Snapping ha Tested. Eh. It's Snapping again. Eh. Keep Your Living Room PC. Apple killed the finish star. Um, interesting. Let's see what else. I'm not finished yet. Kind of like that one, considering that was one of the most, <laughs> the oddest statements. Google Health Outs. That's a cool name. I don't know if it's a good title, but it's a really cool name for the product. Google Health Outs. Okay, so apparently I can be heard. Okay. Uh, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. We can hear you. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to hear you. I don't know. I was told I could not be heard and that it was an autocomplete fail, and I didn't understand that, so I shut the what up. Oh, maybe uh, they were trying to say something else and autocomplete failed them, and it made it Because, mm. yeah, I hear I, you uh, fine. All right, fine. I'll, I'll keep talking. I don't have a lot to say today. Peter, if you count magazines, 24 books.
Yeah, I think live from New York, it's DTNS is pretty funny. Although I wouldn't cap the I there. Oh, El Kali. Is El Kali listening on Alpha Geek Radio? Maybe I'm silent on that. Oh, maybe. That's probably Which, what it is. They yeah, probably that can't makes hear you sense. on AGR. Yeah. Two thirds TNT. That would make sense, actually. Is this be the NT or the TN? What's and the it? way I fixed that uh, in the past was piping the second computer. Yeah. That's a function of. I have to think about that. All uh, right. Your, white, your YouTube stream just borked out. Sorry. So you probably can't hear me then. So never mind. So how's New York so far, Ayaz? It's great. It's fantastic here. Um, yeah. Live in a nice place, except it's a walk-up. So that's the only thing I'll bitch about. Mm. Um, dogs are happy. Yeah, you just get tired right at the fourth floor. You're right. That's when you know you're like, I'm really getting tired. I really hope this is the floor. Um, have the dogs you, are happy. Do have they like time? Central Park? Yeah, they they get to go to Central Park every now and then, but they've picked up a really bad cigarette habit. And I kid you not, they, the, Audrey tries to eat cigarettes <laughs> oh, constantly. No. And so now I'm carrying treats and Liz is carrying treats to make sure that we can like get it out of her mouth. Rubber gloves, that'd be a good idea because it's just disgusting to get that cigarette out of her mouth. So, and Tori, every now and then, will have. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining like the dog, like with the paw. Like, <laughs> she just chomps. Mom, I can't stop. She just chomps down, and it's just like, oh man, it's not good. It's a filthy habit, I know. Yeah, it's like so. Otherwise, it's really good. Mine is the cigarette habit. <laughs> no, that'll be fine. They've been. They've. They're from. They're from. I mean, they're Labradors, so they. They love winter. They love snow. So they're gonna be. Don't worry about the dogs. Worry about them. Yes. Uh, worry about the. Ca the the California. They've been in the snow more than I have. Liz is adjusting to New York, so it's it's going pretty well. I think our apartment's finally put together. I still don't have a podcasting space. I kind of mm. just sit on the floor. Yeah, but I can't move that damn thing. Gonna <laughs> have to take it apart. No, I just put all the tools in, right? Now's the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So New York's going really well. And what's what, good? Who's asking? Who's hiring? Big Jim. The dog is not smoking the cigarettes, right, King? He's she's eating the cigarettes. And the worst thing is there's construction nearby, so there's all of this, all these workers smoke out there. So there's just a ton of cigarettes out there, and outside of the school for some reason. Constantly, just tons of them. I think the solution is to hire somebody with a broom, just in front of me, just to push. Yeah, I, I, actually, if I could do that, I'll I'll get a guy with a cow catcher for the airport, just to move people out of my way. Yeah, you know, La Roman, the the cigarettes might be a, an improvement for one of the dogs' breath, actually. Well, Tori, yeah, Tori smells terrible right now. Brush your teeth. I have to brush your teeth. Yeah. You so, really what's your that. title, Tom? What are you gonna pick? What's that? Uh, what, what title are you going to pick? I lost it. I haven't got there yet. That old show we used to do. I like that one. Uh, what do we got? Live from New York. It's DTNS. Uh, what the Plex? Google Doc Tour is hilarious. Do you have a preference, Jenny? Um, I kind of like Google Doc Tour. <laughs> Or um, what was the other one I liked? Man, you were so not into SEO with these parentheses. No. In there, man. I'm just kidding. I really we're don't. independent. We just don't care. Um, unless it's big news day, <laughs> then we care a little. I get my dog switched to vaping. I think I should. You're right. What Let's the Plex? See. Yeah, what the Plex or um, what was the one that was about PCs? There was a good PC one floating around in there somewhere. It's all about Cody. Let me tell you a story about Cody. All right. I'm doing what the Plex then. Yep. Keep your living room PC. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, I yeah, just maybe. got that. Although I'm not finished yet. It's pretty funny. <laughs> That's not that funny. 
it's it. I think it'll be funnier the is more it you see. Growing on you. It really is. <laughs> it's got one vote, and I like it. Or Apple finishes Finland. <laughs> Poor Apple. Is it Poor really Finland? Really? Well, it's really Nokia's fault that they're finished. It's like, or, or is it Stephen Elop's fault? No, he just kind. Of, I don't. It's like blaming uh, the guy's got to put down the cow. It's not really his fault. Mm -hmm. I mean, that thing was a mess before it. So, Jenny, Yo. for Alpha Geek Radio tomorrow, do you think you could stream it? Did you ever get that? Sure. Weapon? I could try that. Yeah. Because if you can stream the Hangout over Alpha Geek Radio, then that would be that would solve my problem where I'm capturing the USB audio, but you're not on the USB audio, which is why Alpha Geek Radio doesn't think you're here right now. They think I'm just mm. talking to myself. Um. Yeah, I can certainly try to stream it. Uh, I think that should work. Okay. I'll even go to wired internet for that. Okay. I don't know what I'll do Thursday and Friday, but... Panic. Probably. Probably panic. I think panic is good. good reaction. I'm not going to remember Cody. This is not going to work. Um, is it out? So what's the food situation for tonight in New York? What, what's under consideration? Oh, I, I just went and bought a sandwich at Dwayne Reed. I don't know oh. what I'll do after Court Killers, though. <laughs> Where is a table for me to pound my head against the wall? <laughs> You're in the West Village, man! Don't Look, I went to sandwiches. Quality Meats yesterday, and okay. I went to Momofuku the first night we were here, so that's, right. you know, I can't say I haven't eaten Yeah, watch it, Dwayne Reed. Have you not seen the corner, like, delis with all the good food? Yeah, I didn't have time, though. I was just in a rush. And and corner delis were all crowded. <laughs> you just For a reason. Huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I know. I'm not here to make the most of lunch. I'm here to do the show. And then... <laughs> Tom, one should always make the most of lunch. I see. Lunch is kind of unnecessary. It was cheap. I'll give you that. Oh, man. In New York, it was. It was only $45. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? You Publishing. You've distracted me. Yelling at you about lunch? Nice. <laughs> it was a tuna salad sandwich. It was like three bucks. Oh. So you go to Cody.tv. You can't find anything for three bucks in New York. And it still says <sighs> FDMC everywhere. Sorry. That, that does not help me. Help me. What are you trying to do? Well... <laughs> I'm trying to just lock into my brain that Cody, that Cody is the new name XBMC. But when you go to Cody.tv, it's still branded XBMC, XBMC everywhere. Yeah, I know. So that does not mean I'll remember it. Well, it's supposedly like the play rewind symbols. Um, huh? What do you mean? Hmm? Oh, that's what you mean. Because the K itself? Yeah. And then what are the rest of them? Stop, record. I don't know. They had a really stylized logo for it at one time that you could really see, like, oh, okay, that's the play, that's the stop, that's the record. But then they they changed it. Nokia's Mortal Kombat. I don't Kombat. think I've been to Quality Meats, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. That's a steakhouse. It was really oh, good. Oh, man. It's good. XBMC with its awesome logo to this pile of crap. Because you like it. <laughs> that must be the problem. This one looks pretty good. I think this is the one you're talking about. For Cody. Uh, actually, that one's sleeker than the one I was thinking of. That one just looks like KOK, -K, though. Mm -hmm. Backwards. Which probably is not a word you once said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> for your media center. Pardon my French. Not being read right. That's not French. And then there's some dude named Cody who looks for it. some stylized dude with nice hair. Hey, I'm Cody. Tech news.
Was it a good show? Yeah. You you benefit from people <laughs> in your. Uh, What's that? Oh, sorry, you were asking someone else. No, I was Never asking mind. you, but then he oh. typed something in the chat room that made me do oh. a double take. <laughs> uh, I'll just hang out over here. So no, no, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, I interrupt. You lost your compliment space. Forget it. Oh man. It was a <laughs> no, it was a good show. show. It was a good show. Uh, okay. You benefit from having people in the room with you. I would say. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Well, that's always. That I think that's thing. always true. For for humans, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. All right. Oh man, it's so weird not being on my own. Uh, on my my regular setup, it's like some some tabs that I have saved and stuff aren't here. I gotta go find stuff. <sighs> Your nightmares are just it's terrible. Your life is so hard. Efficiency has fallen. I and usually have this up by now. It's gonna take you like an extra forty seconds. Exactly, Man. and they all pile up. Yeah, see, that, that's why. What you, the plex? You. This is what you will regret on your deathbed. It's like those forty seconds. That tab wasn't open. I knew it. <sighs> So this is me in nine years. Remember that. Oh, God. I'll be I'll be complaining about tabs not being open. Oh God. If if I'm not already. I'll take it. Oh my God. There's I have to tab. you. That's what you gotta bring. Oh. Okay. Tab. Derek. Oh, I'll have a tab. Like, I, if you want a tab, buddy. I actually said that to my bartender while I was in costume. Like, he didn't. Oh. Did you call him Lou? <laughs> Okay, everyone's saying it is not a good show. Okay. That's no, good. they're not. They're no, saying just... it was. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> So good to see you, Ayaz, says Tails. <laughs> Hi, Tails. Dude, it is so good to read your name. It's happening again. Follow them around New York. You can. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I have two dogs usually with me, and uh, they're not happy to see you. And so, you. What? Like, they want to find you? No, no. I was talking about happy actions in YouTube and flirting with you and expose your belly. <laughs> Tails. I don't know. Yeah, so for like, I was. Oh, man, wow. Just getting just All right. moving here. Was, I think I'm out of the post. All right. And into the groove. Let's see what I could do with that information. Get into the groove. Oh, the oh post. bring it on. Bring so it on. The post would be a better thing. It's not like you'd be stuck in a mailbox. All right. I'm going to find the stop broadcast button behind this pile of books that I have the camera on. If you, Bye, Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.